Hello Dinosaurs, today we will be doing a shelf tour. We'll take a look at the basement dino dungeon right over here. We'll take a look at the level 1 gallery shelf as well. Level 2 Jurassic World Midlands. Okay. And level 3 Colossus. Okay, so basically we'll take a look at every single shelf in detail okay so let's go okay i think let's start off with level 2 jurassic world midlands first because i think that you guys will like this shelf the most okay this is basically my most favorite shelf in the entire house so let's take a quick look at all these shelves first so there's basically one two three and four this first shelf right over here basically contains all the different Jurassic World figures. I'll just do a very quick introduction first. Second shelf as well. Third shelf basically contains a mix of like Jurassic Park, Jurassic World and some older, you know, vintage rubber source from Kenner. This shelf right over here contains some 2015 Jurassic World figures. Jurassic Park figures over here, some of our repaints and some of um, the figures in the original boxes, some vintage ones, okay? So let's go and have a closer look. Let me just turn on the fan because it's really, really hot. All right, so let's begin from this very first shelf right over here. So as you guys can see, all the big T-Rex are actually placed on top of this shelf. So you can see the different T-Rex you have um, the Dino Escape one, you have the Extreme Damage one, um, Epic Roaring, you have um, the Bite and Fight, and all the different T-Rex right at the top. Okay, this shelf right here, let me just open up. Okay, it basically contains all the smaller figures, the Attack Packs, the Savage Strikes, all the different figures. So you can see, I've actually placed them um, accordingly to um, herbivores and carnivores. So basically the first level focuses on herbivores only. So you can see Gallimimers, all the different Gallimimers. Sunni Ceratops are basically place all the different Ceratopsians together. You have the Styracosaurus, Protoceratops, and um, some of the Sauropods. Mazarus, Brachiosaurus, and this new one, Chilingosaurus, and then Mononicus. Mononicus, it may not be a herbivore, it could be like an omnivore. Right at the back, there are a couple of um, um, carnivores as well, like Proceratosaurus, um, T-Rex, you can see Minmi, Sauropelta, um, Calivosaurus, Scutosaurus, Sticky Moloch, Dracorax, Pachycephalosaurus. So I basically place all the same type of dinosaurs together, okay? So I, I want them to look really neat. Right over here, you can see the entire shelf of Velociraptors. You have the Fierce Force, you have the latest um, Velociraptors right over here. Some of them are like lying down. You can see some of them are actually like Herrerasaurus, Monolophosaurus, um, Hostosuchus, um, and here are two different Aileramers, Gassosaurus, Bonithalestes, um, Trodon, Masiacosaurus, and different Dilophosaurus right at the back. If you take a look at the back row, you can see all the different Velociraptors lined up neatly um, together. So basically, the second row is full of Velociraptors and different carnivores. Moving on to the next row, you can see different Stegosaurus. This is a repainted one, the very first one. This is um, the Dewar Attack. This is from the Campertaceous Adventure set, I think. Mega Destroyer. Sandoceratops, Triceratops, different Triceratops as you guys can see. There's the, the, the first one, which is the Rory Ball, and different ones. The Packy Rhinosaurus right at the back. And moving on, I think this is like one of my most favorite part of this shelf. You can see the different um, um, theropods. You can see different Albertosaurus, Tabosaurus right over there as well. Sucomimus, two different Sucomimus. Irritator. Um, Sarcosuchus, Cacarodontosaurus, Seeds Mycorum, um, Concavenator, Majingosaurus, Crylophosaurus, 
and the three different Carnotaurus right at the back. So I've basically placed them in this area dedicated just for all these flower pots. Let's close this shelf, okay? Let me just zoom out, zoom out and show you guys. Let me close this shelf. All right, let's lock it and unlock this area. So let's move on to this row. Okay, here are some mini figures. Wait, let me just put this over here. So you can see this entire section is dedicated to mini figures. Yep. I'm actually planning to buy like a uh, mini display shelf or like Lego mini figures and hang it over there so that, you know, we can actually have this space for you know other figures okay but let's have a look at this so basically i've you know arranged all of them accordingly to their species the different indominus rex right over here different t-rex okay and moving on you can see the spinosaurus sucomimus irritator they're basically from the same family as you guys know baryonyx as well you have like limbo chaos um grim and um the um uh, generic uh, baryonyx. Allosaurus, I'm not too sure why is it like staying here. Different Carnotaurus. You have Carnotaurus Toro, the um, default generic Carnotaurus. Different Velociraptors. Um, we have one shiny one which we've just purchased. So I need to find a space to slot it right in. Yeah, maybe we will need to do some rearrangement later on. All the different flying reptiles, different carnivores such as um, Caprosuchus is this? This is um, Postosuchus, Dilophosaurus, Tabosaurus, C.S. Mikorum, Ceratosaurus. Right at the back, you can see the different Parasaurolophus. Can you guys see that? Yep, Stigamolog, Ankylosaurus, Brachiosaurus, Diplodocus, Stegosaurus, Pachyrhinosaurus, uh, Triceratops. That is a Microceratus and different Ceratopsians right over there. And you can see the different cup toppers, which I usually, you know, show you guys in my, um, you know, 150 dinosaurs in the box. You can see the different basic figures as well. Okay, you can see the T-Rex, Stegomorlocks, Indominus Rex, T-Rex again, two raptors. And here are some Takara Tomi um, Japanese figures here as well. This is actually from the 15 pack set in like back in like 2015. Allosaurus, some Takaratomi figures. What is a Takaratomi? They're pretty, they're pretty good. All right, and moving down, this portion here is actually a um, a portion where I place some of um the boxed figures. Okay, so you can see our entire collection of um Snap Squad. All right, let me just zoom in a little bit, and the McDonald's Happy Meal set. I purchased them off eBay because there were only four in my country. Some of the um, first wave of Rory Vores, okay? And this really beautiful um, Spinosaurus. You know, this is the better damage. It's really rare. So I purchased another one just to keep it inside this box. So I'm a collector as well. Yeah, right. Um, Amagosaurus. Um, the very first Ceratosaurus. Some of this. This set, I, I don't think I should remove it. I feel that, you know, these two Velociraptors will not look good if I place them together with the other raptors. So I've placed them in their original box. So this is basically the bottom shelf. And this box right here is actually sent to me from Mattel. It is a Dino Rav Rival set. It's a very cool set, but there are plenty of figures inside. Um, but it's hard for me to take it out and show you guys. All right, I'm gonna close this. All right. You stand up. Okay, we're moving on to the second shelf right over here. So you guys can see there are plenty of Spinosaurus. You have um, our repainted Spinosaurus. You have the um, um, Extreme Chomping Spinosaurus, the Battle Damage Spinosaurus. Extreme Chomping Spinosaurus, the first wave. Okay, I'm gonna open this shelf right over here. So similarly, I've arranged them accordingly to their species. It's not easy to see because there's some backlight. So basically a bunch of um, Ceratosaurus right over here, Allosaurus right in the middle. You can see there are three different Allosaurus. The latest one is this one and the different Baryonyx. This is the latest uh, Baryonyx Chaos. Oh no, not this. 
baryonic scales is this one. So the different baryonic scales, right at the back, you can actually see two Matria Cantosaurus if you look very closely. And this is the Dino Showdown um, Allosaurus. Moving on to the second row, this is a row where we have placed the different um, herbivores, the different duck built dinosaurs to be exact. You have the Oranosaurus, the latest one. Let me just zoom in a little bit. Parasaurolophus, two different versions, Apmontosaurus, um, Pseudoceratops, Magosaurus, and Calosaurus. So I place them you know, accordingly to, you know, hobby bros and carnivores. Right over here, we have some prehistoric animals. You can see the range of um, different dimorphodons. We have a Ramphorhynchus right at the back, two Ramphorhynchus to be exact. Okay, Tyrannodon right at the back, dimorphodons. So this first row is all dimorphodon. And um, here you have the different Tyrannodons, okay? Plesiosaurus, there are actually three different types. I think there will be another one coming out really soon. Quadlis, the one and only Quadlis. This is a um, um, Tapijara. And um, yeah. So the next shelf is actually a shelf which I really like. It's basically a shelf containing Scorpius Rex and the Indoraptor. So you can see we have like one, two, three. We have three different Scorpius Rex right over here. This is the green version, this is the original version, and this is the basic figure version. And all these little figures are Indoraptors. I think um, the Scorpius Rex one will come out really soon. And of course, we have the Lego figure right over here. So the different Indoraptors, the battle damage, um, super poseable. You have the grab and growl, basic figure. So very cool. Okay, so let me just close this and uh, let's move on down to the next um, the bottom section of the second shelf okay so these are some of the figures that you know some of my friends gave it to me you know Mattel sent it to me some of them are basically I bought just in case we need to do a repaint so yep some of them are repeats yep I, mean, I think I'm gonna give this one of this away it's a Velociraptor Charlie at um, during December I'm gonna give some of these small figures away Next, move on. This section basically belongs to, um, is dedicated to some of this, um, you know, collectibles and merchandise. You can see some Jurassic World um, DVD, you know, tri trilogy, some display set, some some merch right over here, some human figures. I'm not really a collector of human figures, but I've just placed some of them here for convenience sake when I make videos. You have um, the baby Carnotaurus. Kind of Baby blue, the stretchable blue gyrospear right at the back. These two are pretty cool. So to move on down. This section is actually dedicated to only basic figures. So these are the 12 inch basic figures. Spinosaurus, Proceratosaurus, um, two of them. Blue, Dilophosaurus, two of them. Indoraptor and two Pteranodons. Moving on, this are basically some, um, just some fillers because we still have um, pretty much a lot of empty space right over here. So I basically put some play sets here to fill up the space. So this space right here can be used for, you know, the new um, Jurassic World figures that are coming out next year for Jurassic World Dominion, okay? So you basically have this submarine, the Indominus Rex, Skeleton, Allosaurus Medical Playset, um, tons of Takara Tomy figures right over here, okay? So right at the back, you can see we have some, some merch as well. This basically to give um, this area some backdrop. Okay, I'm gonna close this shelf. And um, let's take a look at the shelf number three, which is this corner shelving unit. Right, so the first one is actually I've placed some Jurassic Park sets right over here. So you have the T-Rex with this um, Ford Explorer. And um, right at the back, you can see a very nice set from Mattel. Yep, right. And right over here, you can see some Jurassic Park. Let me just open this shelf for you to have, you know, a better look because the reflection is causing some, some difficulty to view. All right. So I bought this um, six foot turkey kid little figure from an independent, um, um, creator because this boy was actually present in um, the first Jurassic Park movie. So moving on be here, you can see we have some 
really vintage Jurassic Park figures. All right, I got this mask, this T-Rex mask from a local Jurassic Park fan collector as well. He, he sold me at a pretty decent price, so very happy to add this to my collection. So you can see the Spinosaurus, two of them from Canada, um, the Chaos Effect T-Rex right at the back. So moving down, moving down, it's actually a space dedicated just for Indominus Rex. So I've thought, you know, placing all the different Indominus Rex together will look really cool, all right? Extreme damage, you have um, this really nice one from um, Hasbro, a repainted Indominus Rex. And moving down, another section dedicated just for um, T-Rex, all the different um, T-Rex from Kenner. I, th I think this is well, this one is actually from Hasbro. So you can see different T-Rex, Bull T-Rex, the Red T-Rex, the Thrasher T-Rex, um, yeah, the Young T-Rex, and this Jurassic Park little statuette. It's 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 brilliant. I love this little um, corner. Moving on to the last shelf right over here. It's actually um. Okay, this portion right here, the top row, you can see we have two different Mosasaurus. One is the older one and one is the Camp Cretaceous version. And some 2015 T-Rex um, figures from Hasbro. So this entire row at the top is dedicated to Hasbro Jurassic World figures. You know, I, I know that the Hasbro Jurassic World figures, they are not very good. I mean, the, the Mattel ones are way better. But I mean, if thinking back, you know, I should have bought more of them because I regretted not buying like the Carnotaurus and some of the hybrids. Right now, if you want to get the hybrids, they cost a bunch of money. Yeah. So this portion here are dedicated to Jurassic Park figures. Many of them are not my childhood toys. Many of them are in fact bought them off um, eBay. Yep. So Chaos Effect, plenty of Velociraptors. Um, this is an Ankyloranodon, which is a part Ankylosaurus, part Pteranodon. T-Rex right over here. Moving down, you have more carnivores right over here. Um, some prehistoric animals, the Matrodon, Carnotaurus, Demon, um, Spinosaurus right over here. Okay, one of them has fallen down, so let me just place it right back. Yeah, so different Spinosaurus right over here. Moving down, you can see the different herbivores from Jurassic Park. You have Stegosaurus, you have Triceratops, you have Pachyrhinosaurus, you have um, Chasmosaurus, Triceratops, plenty of Triceratops. And different Pachycephalosaurus right over here, mini ones. Yep, and um, Brachiosaurus, and this Lost World mini Microverse set, which looks like micro machines. And this section right here belongs to the Amber collection. So you can see all the different types of Velociraptors. And Dilophosaurus, this was added pretty recently. The Morphodon is actually the latest addition to the Amber collection. Um, you have um, the different Jurassic Park um, characters right at the back. You have um, Ellie Settler, you have uh, Ian Malcolm, you have um, Owen right here. Yeah. So this section basically belongs to Amber collection. Let's close this part of the shelf and uh, let's move on down below. This section right here is dedicated for repaints, dedicated to repaints. So all these figures that you are seeing right now are actually repainted by myself or uh, Mrs. Dan. Okay, so basically we have the Mortem Rex, which is one of my most favorite one. With the Level 40 Mosasaurus right at the back. Gen 3, um, what was it? Gen 2, I can't remember. Gen 3, Scorpius Rex, Tarbosaurus Level 40, Baryonyx Level 40, Sukumimers Level 40, um, Omega 09 um, T-Rex, and this is one I named it as um, Galaxy Indoraptor. It's basically my own creation. So I, I really love this section right here, and we have to spot, we have to find time to um, do more repaints, definitely. And this is um, a section we are dedicating to Unboxed, which is still in the original packaging. So I got this one from eBay at a pretty reasonable price. It's a remote control um, Triceratops. It looks brilliant. And all these figures, I got them. Some of them are actually my childhood. Some of them are, I got, majority of them are from eBay. Yeah, majority of them. You can see 
they come with collector's card and uh, mini figures, die cars and dinosaurs. Super cool looking. And the packaging from this um, canner, they're just amazing. Really, really amazing. This is basically fillers again. The last shelf is basically where I put some of this um, you know, unopened figures. I bought two of these Indoraptors because I really love the packaging a lot. I'm not going to open them. I'm sorry, this will not be given away. I'm going to keep this, you know, as part of my collection. And um, some of the um, action attacks. Yeah. And this is a very nice set, um, the Baryonyx Lava Search playset. But of course, the Baryonyx is not here. The Baryonyx is placed right on top with the other Baryonyx. And we have um, Explorer right here. Yep. You can see I've placed, uh, what's the name of this? I can't remember. Yeah, I've placed the, the figure inside the, the car. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. Okay, let me just close this shelf. So, you're, you're right. So this is the Level 2 Jurassic World Midlands shelf, which I have explained to you in such detail. Let's move on to Level 3 Colossus to have a look at audio dinosaurs, okay? Okay, so this is level 3 Colossus shelf. Okay, let me just move on and show you guys. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the lights to this shelf. Okay, so basically this little area is where Mrs. Dan um, you know, does her nails. She's actually a nail artist. And uh, she, sometimes she conducts some lessons over here for students. Uh, let us have a look at what's at level 3 Colossus. So basically at the top you can find all the different Super Colossal Dinosaurs Brachiosaurus repainted level 40 Apatosaurus Indominus Rex T-Rex Velociraptor Carnotaurus Let's take a look at shelf number 1 There are basically 2 shelves right here, okay? So let's open this Okay So this section has got to be one of my most favorite sections in these 2 shelves right over here, okay? The first one is actually dedicated to Nanmu Studio Dinosaurs. Yeah, I love Nanmu Studio Dinosaurs, as you guys know. So you can find the different types. Um, Spinosaurus, T-Rex, Indominus Rex, Mosasaurus, um, Giganotosaurus, Carnotaurus, and the Indoraptor. Moving on, you can find my entire collection of um, Papo figures, which I really, really love. So I, I think I have almost the entire collection of Peppo figures. Probably missing one or two, that's all. Miss basically missing one or two. You can find a different running T-Rex, Allosaurus. You're still lacking one of the, um, um, the Velociraptor. There are actually two types, Feather Velociraptor. And you can see the Spinosaurus, the revamped version is so much better. Um, yeah, Spinosaurus right over here. Allosaurus, there are actually two different types. A couple of um, prehistoric animals. Okay, Dimorphodon. You can see right at the back you have the T-Rex, Gigan Giganotosaurus, the very weird one right at the back. Crelophosaurus, two Acrocanthosaurus, which I think are really, really brilliant. Ceratosaurus, the young Spinosaurus, Carnotaurus, and um, Gorgosaurus. And this is a Chiliosaurus. Really cool. And moving down, this is actually where I've placed all the different herbivores from Papo. So you have the Ceratopsians right over here. I love to organize them according to their species and their family. You have Psychosaurus, Speculinosaurus, a young Triceratops, Polacanthus, Ankylosaurus, Amagosaurus, and here are the sauropods. Brachiosaurus, Apatosaurus, Pteranodon, Therizinosaurus, Iguanodon, two Parasaurolophus, Pachycephalosaurus, and a Sticky Moloch, I think. Yeah, that is a Sticky Moloch. So that's the first section. PNS Hold and um, um, Nanmu Studio. Really love this top section. Okay, let us move down. Okay, this portion right here also contains some PNSO figures as well. So, uh, I mean, uh, Nanmu Studio figures as well. So, you can see Nanmu Studio Stegosaurus, a different color variant, the Triceratops, Sonoceratops, Apatosaurus, and this it's a new figure that we have just purchased. Um, the name is actually um, Kayuyera. Kayuyera. I'm not too sure how you pronounce it. This is actually from Collecte, which I think it looks really good. 
but the shelf at uh, my basement dino dungeon is not able to hold it. So right over here, you have the entire, not the entire collection, my collection of PNSO figures. You have plenty of them. You know, Paris Rolifers, you have Corythosaurus, Ankylosaurus. So all these are the different PNSO figures that PNSO has sent, it, sent to us. I'm very, very um, um, grateful to, to PNSO because they are friends with us. Right over here, we have um, a set from, a set of Ceratopsians from the Mesozoic, the Beast of the Mesozoic, right over here. These two are actually placed here. Uh, I should probably place them, you know, together with the other Peppo um, um, figures because there's no space up there. So you can find the different Ceratopsians from the Beast of the Mesozoic right over here. It's really hot in this room, so I'm gonna do a um, very quick introduction of this shelf, okay? Let's move on to the second one, okay? Second one, here you can find some premium... Let me just turn on the aircon, I'm just... It's so hot right here. Okay, so basically this portion belongs to PNSO. You have um, the beautiful, you know, T-Rex, um, Spinosaurus, you can see all the different PNSO figures right over here. Tyrannosaurus Wilson, the latest one in the Carnotaurus, Microraptor. Um, some of them I can't even know, can't even remember the species name. Yeah. Moving down, you can find this section dedicated to reball figures, mostly reball figures. You have the King T Rex, you have the Carnotaurus, you have um, uh, Eric, Eric Sinatosaurus, I think, and um, Agricanosaurus. This is the V-Rex from, um, you know, Godzilla. No, I mean King Kong. <laughs> T-Rex, different T-Rex from uh, Reborn. This spring hued Jack, which is a Velociraptor from Reborn as well. Allosaurus. Um, some figures from Vitae. I think, okay, this Giganotosaurus from Vitae is absolutely brilliant. It, it's awesome. Moving down, you can find this um, diorama, which I've created for Schleck figures using this watering hole playset so you can see different dinosaurs I've placed Velociraptor, Dunkelosteers, um, uh, Ramphorhynchus, Therizinosaurus, Carnotaurus inside this, this cave, Dilophosaurus, Pentaceratops, um, this is a Tawar and um, yeah so let's move on down let me close this shell first and um, move down. Okay, so this section is dedicated to Schleich um, herbivores. So you can see Therizinosaurus, different Therizinosaurus, they're actually like one, two, three, four, four of them and five. Okay, there are actually five Therizinosaurus from Schleich. I think they love Therizinosaurus so much. Apatosaurus, Barapasaurus, Brachiosaurus, two of them. I really love the latest green one. Triceratops, Styracosaurus. Um, oh my goodness, I can't remember. Is this Diabloceratops? Stegosaurus, Cantrosaurus, Augustinia right at the back, which is a new figure. Moving down, you can find different carnivores from Schleich and mini carnivores from Schleich. So this is our level three um, colossal shelf. Yeah. I named this level 3 Colossal Shelf. So, one last look at the Super Colossal Dinosaurs right at the top. You have the Carnotaurus, Blue, Rexy, Indominus Rex, Apatosaurus, and the Brachiosaurus. Alright, I think it's time for us to move on down to level 1 and um, Basement Dino Dungeon, okay? Let's go. Alright, right now we are at level 1 gallery shelf. Yes, I named this level 1 gallery. So you can basically find some um, play buttons. A 100k play button that was like, um, you know, awarded to us many years back. This was only given to us like last year and um, this little letter from YouTube. So right over here you can find um, uh, Nammu Studio figures because you guys know that, you know, Nammu Studio is actually slowly becoming my most favorite brand. So you can find uh, the translucent T-Rex, the green T-Rex, this latest one that comes with a base, it looks really brilliant. And um, Giganotosaurus, 
the four Velociraptors, Spinosaurus, and um, this Indominus Rex. This one is actually different from the one at level 3 Colossus because it has some camouflaging, you know, um, uh, paint work, you know, by having some translucency on the body. Moving down, you can find um, Mosasaurus, Ceratosaurus, Indoraptor, um, Allosaurus, Carnotaurus. Yeah, all these are from Nanmu Studio. And this as well, the different herbivores. So they're basically two different um, Apatosaurus from Nanmu Studio. One is a green one and one is a brown one. So I basically placed like, you know, a, spe a species of each at level one gallery. So Stegosaurus and Colosaurus, Cenoceratops, Triceratops, and Apatosaurus. So this is basically level one gallery shelf. It's just a small shelf because um, there are no shelves at the bottom. It's basically some storage space for us to keep some stationaries and um, books. All right, so this is level one gallery. So let's move on to the basement dino dungeon. Okay, so right now we are at Basement Dino Dungeon. I think you guys should be very familiar with this little space because, you know, I think in many of my videos, I actually do it like an introduction at the Basement Dino Dungeon. So basically, this is like my little studio where I film some of the videos. I don't film all the videos at Basement Dino Dungeon except, you know, when you are doing some unboxing. So you guys can see, we do have some dinosaurs to unbox this coming Saturday, there'll be plenty of figures, not Mattel figures, but really cool figures from like Schleich, um, different, not too sure where this is from, I think this is from Schleich as well, you know, from Safari LTD, you can see this is a beautiful, um, figure. we have some PNSO figures, but PNSO figures, we are waiting for more to arrive before we do like a huge unboxing together. So basically, this is my table. It's just a very, very humble setup. You can see just a very simple desk, a simple wooden stool. I'm planning to upgrade to a better, like a gaming chair because I, I need better posture. And with this really beautiful um, neon light of Dan surprise. So this is basically where I shoot some of the unboxing videos right over here. We need to have like a plain background for us to have a backdrop. Yeah. So right at the top, you can find um, some of these figures. It's basically a mix of display. We have our Super Colossal T-Rex, which we repainted on our own. I named it um, Jungle T-Rex. And right at the back, hidden right at the back, is actually a, an Indominus Rex from Imagine Next. And this is like a very cool set of Lego display, which I got it from eBay. This, was, this is basically like a display shelf for Walmart. It's not for sale, but I've managed to get it off eBay, so re really nice. And moving on, you can find some um, other figures right at the top. Um, there are some like Scorpius Rex, some tree, some unopened box. That's the repainted um, Kanotaurus right at the bottom, at the back, I mean. Ceratosaurus right at the back and Huanga Titan from PNSO right at the back as well. This right here is basically some of my um my personal stuff some of my family photos we have a um a picture of uh Pui Pui, who is our very first dog who, who passed on after like 14 years um old yeah he's, he's really really a sweet dog you know we place it right over here some family photos um some minifigures from toy monster yeah and some of my you know awards and um trophies that i've won in my career not for YouTube, but from my uh, for my job. I, I do have a full time job, and that's Goku right over there. So Goku is actually one of my childhood heroes. Okay, <coughs> so this portion right here is where I film my video. You can see some shelf over here, and here are a place where I put some of the uh, unopened figures, which I intend to um, repaint in future. You have the Ceratosaurus raw attack. Um, Camp Cretaceous set that was given to me by Mattel. Um, we have, um, I've kept some of the boxes right here, Apatosaurus, Brachiosaurus, because the boxes look so good, I, I don't want to throw them away. And yeah, similar, similarly for this, this is actually um, the packaging for the Raptor set. I thought this can be used, it's a very nice display for like minifigures, so I've kept the box. You know, I, I'm not a hoarder, but I, I don't usually keep boxes, but 
I feel that could be some use to this. Um, Indominus Rex, yes, right over here. I'm gonna do a repaint, but I still, I really can't find a time to repaint them. Yeah, so busy with work and everyday life. Um, yeah, and this portion right here, yes, check this out. We'll be unboxing this on Saturday. Bumpy, a stuff, a stuff, a plush, plush toy. So we'll be unboxing this this coming um Saturday and take a look at this. This is actually my collection of um um figures from Favorite Co. And right over here we have just basically bought all these shelves from IKEA. So inside contain all the different animal figures. Okay. So I actually have another channel called Dan Surprise Animals if you guys um do not know. So I make some animal videos, you know, a few times a week. It's still a very small channel. So if you guys want to watch like animal videos, do go on and support. Don't really have a shelf to display them. I don't think I need them. And right over here, I basically put um, the different mask. Okay, you can see Indoraptor mask right over here. Godzilla mask right at the a back. Conotaurus Triceratops, different mask right over here. There's a green one behind. And uh, some Funko Pop figures. Yep. So just some random figures. I, I love this egg, so I'm not gonna throw it away. I'm not gonna throw this um, wrapper away. And some of the cuter dinosaurs from Imagine Next are placed over here. This is like one of my most prized possession. Okay, this is like a very beautiful Mosasaurus figure that I purchased from Prime One Studio. It's my most expensive figure in the entire house. It's it's brilliant. And right over here, basically, is um the collection of um like Imagine Next figures. Okay, this is better. You can see different Imagine Next figures right over here. I'm not too sure why this Play-Doh is doing here. Yep. Indominus Rex. Yes, I have plenty of Indominus Rex. Cost. This Indominus Rex, it's the best for repaint. I, I'm telling you guys, because it has a base base color of white. It's very easy for you to put any colors onto it. So it's very, very good for repainting. Minifigures from Imagine Next, okay? So let's move on to this shelf right here, okay? So this is basically our last shelf in the house. I mean, there could be more shelves. There's a secret place. There's a secret place which I'm gonna show you guys later on, all right? This secret place is another place where I put different dinosaurs. So this is not the last shelf yet. So take a look. So once again, I've, I'm you know arranging them according to species and brands. So the first shelf is basically all the different collecte herbivores. So you can see huge collection. The fact that I like about you know collecte is that um they are much affordable than um uh, for example like. Schleck, the cost is actually much lower than Schleck and um, Safari LTD. You can basically get um, a figure for like two dollars, it's possible with smaller ones. And right over here, we have different carnivores from Safari LTD. I mean, the figures from Safari LTD they are amazing, I love them a lot. I think right now, my most favorite figure from Safari LTD has got to be this Spinosaurus and um, the Feathered T Rex. Yeah, I mean. Majority of them are really brilliant. Okay. Um, okay, it's, it's gonna be weird because I've actually placed the Captive X minifigures over here. You know, because these are actually Jurassic World and what are they doing here with um the Safari LTD um sauropods? Basically, you know, you, you guys know that you know my shelf on top there isn't really much space, so I've basically put them right over here. Yeah, it looks really nice. And you can see the different sauropods from Safari LTD. Okay, so this is basically for Safari LTD herbivores. Moving down, this is actually a space catered for lesser known brands. Favorite Co, all the Japanese figures right over here. Okay, this is the latest one to our collection, which is a Spinosaurus. This section here, it's actually figures from Terra by Bertet. So Terra by Bertet actually sent me the, their entire set many years back, I think back in like 2016 or 2017. Very, very old figures. All these are Terra by Bertet figures. So 
the Samitmi, the uh, entire set. They have Eupocephalus, they have this Lexovisaurus, Stegosaurus, Amagosaurus, Parasaurolophus, Pachyranosaurus, Crylophosaurus, Acrocanosaurus, T Rex, um, Carnotaurus. Some of the figures can't really stand, so that is quite a pity. I'm trying to make them stand, but it's, it's, it's really hard. Yeah, Ceratosaurus. Moving down is a section which I really love a lot as well. It's basically a, a section dedicated to prehistoric animals. You know, dinosaurs, you can find like Dimatrodon, you can find like Saber-toothed Cat, Sakosuchus, Prestosuchus, Postosuchus, <coughs> Woolly, Woolly Rhino, Woolly Mammoth, Amoebalodon, um, Danotherium, yeah, all the different prehistoric Megaso Megalo Megalosaurus. Yeah, is that how you pronounce it? I think so. Yeah, very very nice. I, I really love this a lot. Although I can't really remember some of the names. They all gone right over here. I know I see no if they will. So the, all these are basically all the different prehistoric animals. Moving down, I'm gonna close this shelf first. Moving down, you can find the different prehistoric marine reptiles dedicated to marine reptiles only. Mosasaurus, like Tylosaurus, um, different types of them. Um, what else we have? Plesiosaurus, we have do we have a Dunklos? Oh, no, there's no Dunklos this year. Silocant, um, Elasmosaurus, um, Tylosaurus, mm, what else are there? Um, what is this? Hydrotherosaurus right over here. Yep. And moving down, you have um, some figures from Mojo. Yeah, that's right. Mojo. Okay. And moving down, you have um, Collecte figures. Collecte carnivores. Different Collecte carnivores. We have added many, many new ones recently, including this um, really beautiful baryonyx that comes with a base. Plenty of new figures that we have added, yeah. But I think not many of you guys have seen all of them. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, a beautiful Dimorphodon. I'm supposed to put like um the new prehistoric flying reptile that you have seen at level three Colossus here, but the shelf are actually way too low for it to be displayed. Moving down. This is actually another new figure that we have just purchased. Let me see, what is the name of this? Satrio, Satrio Venator. Yeah, a new theropod that we've just purchased that belongs to um, um, Collecte, but there's no space right here. So we've just basically placed it along with... Um, um, these are actually Mojo figures, if I'm not wrong. Mojo Fun. Yeah, Mojo Fun. Those on top are actually Bully Land. I beg your pardon, Bully Land. And below we have more Mojo figures. So Mojo figures, Mojo is also a friend of ours. So they send us quite a lot of um, figures back in the past as well. So all these little porcelain figures, I bought it from uh, an online store. Yeah, they're porcelain. You can break them easily if you drop them. But very very cool figures. Okay. Yeah, I think this is more or less of my shelves in my house that you have seen. There's one more secret place that I'm going to show you guys, okay? So stay tuned. Let me show you guys our secret hideout. So out of um, Basement Dino Dungeon, if you enter this little room right here, this is actually a... Um, a makeshift place where I call it the Godzilla room. It's not really um, um, completed yet, but you can see different Godzillas right over here. Okay, Godzilla figures right over here. You have the mag the really huge and gigantic Godzilla figure. You have the space Godzilla. You have um, um, this Godzilla Mothra. Just open this up and have a look. Yeah, different Godzilla right over here. My Godzilla collection. Um, yeah, some of the Spinosaurus which I intend to repaint. And if you open this shelf up, you can see my collection of Lego figures. Okay? And Playmobil figures right over here. 
So my collection of Lego figures are hidden inside this shelf. Not many of you guys, I don't think any dinosaurs have actually shown any of this to any dinosaurs yet. This is the first time. Some Playmobil figures, this is basically where I keep some of the boxes. And this area for some Takara Tomi figures. Okay, so I think that's the end of our shelf tour guys. So basically I've shown you guys all the different parts of my house containing all my different dinosaurs. Back at the studio, back at the basement dino dungeon. So I want you guys to let me know which part, which shelf in my house is your most favorite part. Let me know, okay? In the comment section below. And um, yes, I'll maybe do another shelf tour maybe next year. I'm not too sure because I don't think we should do shelf tours so often. Probably like, you know, once every... Once a year, probably. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching this, guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. I'll see you guys on Saturday where I'll be unboxing a lot of new figures. Okay, so stay tuned for that. Let's go, okay? Thanks for watching this. I'll see you guys on Saturday. Goodbye.